What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again with another video and another live stream. That's why you can see the webcam. How's it going? Today is tier list day. So if you want to catch the live stream, make sure you hit that notification bell or go back and watch the live stream for the unedited version of this. We're going to make multiple tier lists today and then we're going to cut up each tier list and make it into a single video. So this tier list we're going to do right now is going to be a PVP tier list that is revolves around all combat ships in PvP, whether it's a group fight or a 1v1 fight. So, and it's going to be basically anything that could happen naturally in the verse, Arena Commander set aside, we're just going to talk about ships in a generic overall setting. Later, we'll do a 1v1 tier list for dueling. But this is going to be like whether it's group play or 1v1, everything put together, thoughts, and we're just going to discuss it as a, as a as a live stream. And so if you want to be a part of that, you guys, like I said, come check out the live streams, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you know, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that join button down below if you want to go the extra mile and support me and the National Mercenaries. So I don't have a title for this, uh, per se, up, right? Um, I, I wish I could like put a title. I mean, I could, I could put a title on the screen, right? Here, 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 guys, watch this. I could put a title on the screen. Let's do text on the screen. Add source. Um, new text. Tier list. Okay. Let's put a text on the screen and let's just have PVP all. Okay, and um, it's kind of small. Why is it so small? Okay, PVP all. It's too big. Okay, good enough, right? You guys can see what's going on? Okay, so again, so I can see, I'm just going to be able to see chat. We guys can discuss everything. We can talk about it. Here's all the ships I made. Guys, by the way, I, I put a lot of work into this. I, I took this off of um, Star Viewer or Star Jump Fleet Viewer, right? So I just picked on every single ship and then took a screenshot of it. But this way you can see the names of every ship, by the way, guys. So you can see the names of every ship there is, okay? You can see the names of them. So when I click the 125, you know it's the 125, and so on, so on. The 85X is a little bit cut off, but you guys can, you guys can see that it's the 85X. You know, um, the Hornets are mixed up together. Okay, I'm classifying the F7C Hornets as a group. I'm classifying the F7A separately and the F7C separately, the Mark IIs. But we're not doing all the variants. Okay. We're not going to be doing, like, the 125 is the only 100 series we're doing. The 300, the 325 is the only variant we're doing. We're not going to do 100, 115, 125, okay? We're just doing the 125, the 325. We're just doing the Aurora LN. We're just doing the Avenger. Like, this Avenger Titan means all the Avengers, okay? It's not just the Avenger Titan. It's all the Avengers because all the Avengers are exactly the same. Besides, the Warlock has an EMP, and I honestly don't think that makes that big of a difference, okay? So, when it comes to variants, I'm only going over one. The Gladius is the Gladius, not the Gladius variant, or Valiant, not the Gladius um, Pirate. They're the same ship. In this case, the Talons are different, right? The Talons have different loadouts. The Vanguards have different loadouts and have different uh, categories, so... That's why they have multiple entries, right? Okay. So we're just going to, we're going to make it together and discuss it. That's how we're going to do this. We're going to discuss this as a team, as, as, as a live stream. And, um, it's going to be mainly my opinion, but we can discuss it. Okay. So we're just going to go start going down the list and I'm going to talk about each and every ship when we do it. Okay. So we'll start with the 125. Okay. So the 125. I'm I'm all on for for some of the other people's opinions on the interceptors, okay? The 125 125 is a monster. 
There's a mon I have every ship listed here. I'm not I'm not gonna put the vulture on the list, Jim. <laughs> I, I have the 890 jump and everything here, okay? We're not gonna put the non-combat ships on the list. The 125 is a monster, guys, okay? All the 100 series, their interceptors are monsters. They're amazing ships right now, okay? But in order to fly the 125 well, you have to be a disciplined expert pilot to fly the 125 and do good in the 125. You have to be very disciplined. It is an A-class ship if you're disciplined and good, okay? Just starting off right away. So that goes the same thing with the 325, all right? The 325 is an A-class ship if you're good and you know what you're doing. As soon as you're getting shot at, you run. You don't stick around when you're in an interceptor. You don't f turn around, go, whoa, whoa, who's shooting at me? You're gone, okay? So we're getting those right out the way. If every interceptor in the game, except there's one exception for the interceptor, every interceptor in the game, you have to be a good pilot to fly. Yes. It has the agility of the Gladius and the speed of the Interceptors. It's an absolute monster, the 125. So, like I said, guys, you guys are free to just let your opinions roll in, in the chat, and, and, and we'll discuss them. We're going to skip over the 400i, because we're not going to do the 400i for the PvP list. Um, I kind of think it's cool to bring in some of the other ships, but like the 600i and stuff. But, I, again... I don't want to clud the board, so we'll come back to things like the 400i and the 600i if you guys want to do that. But next, we're going to move on to the the 85x, okay? And the 85x, I believe, when I was messing around and looking at things earlier last night, to start, I'm going to put the 85x in the C tier. It's a very small ship and very hard to use, or it's. It's a very hard it's a very hard ship to hit. But it's very weak, like it, it blows up very quickly, it's very paper and it's not an interceptor. So and it's only got size 1 guns. And actually nowadays in master modes, the sizing of guns is starting to matter more and more and more. So the fact of the matter is here is the 85x used to be very very good but since it only has size one guns it's definitely either even possibly d tier we're going to leave it at c tier for now and see where it ends up um and like i said what you, you guys can chime in the conversation the arrow like you're saying jim is the arrow the same does it require do, is the arrow if you're good, it's good. Yes and no. I think the arrow is a B tier ship. I think the arrow is a B tier ship. It's not good enough to be an A tier or an S tier. If you're good, the arrow can be strong in dueling in 1v1 fights. But the arrow doesn't have the DPS and the survivability to make it into A tier or the speed. So for me, the arrow is a B tier. It's a B tier. Now the Aurora is definitely going to be dropping down to a D tier. The I I have very I I respect the Aurora. Okay, the Aurora is probably the best combat ship for starters, or at least it was before Master Modes. Okay, before before Master Modes, the Aurora was probably a B tier or even probably a C tier, but in Master Modes. I have to drop it down. Um, and that's why I think the 85X should be in the D tier too. But I'm going to start with the D tier for the Aurora. Okay. Next we got the Avenger Titan. The Avenger Titan does belong up here. But guys, I'm done with the Avenger Titan. It's a B. The fact that the Avenger Titan blows an atmosphere. Absolutely blows an atmosphere. I can't have it in an A tier. I can't. I want to, but I can't. The 325 handles so much better in atmosphere than the Titan. But what we'll do is we'll put the Titan in front of the arrow. Okay, guys? 
I want the Avenger Titan up here, but it, it's not, guys. It's not. It's not. So that's that. The blade is the same deal as the arrow. I actually think it's. I think it's better than the arrow. The blade's better than the arrow, but the blade has the shitty cockpit that sucks ass. So I put the arrow ahead of it. Yeah, the 325 flies a lot better in Atmo compared to the Titan. 100%. The the tight the Avenger is awful in Atmo. Absolutely awful in Atmo, guys. And the blade is fantastic. It just has the all red interior and it sucks. Okay? So then of course we had the Buccaneer. There's no doubt about it, guys. The Buccaneer is the best ship in the game right now. I, I agree with everybody. The Buccaneer is the best ship in the game right now. And the and the Buccaneer is the only interceptor you do not have to be a professional pilot to fly. To fly the 125, you have to be a boss ass pilot. To fly the 325, you have to be a boss ass pilot. To fly a Buccaneer, you could be anybody. Because the Buccaneer has so much firepower, you can be anybody and fly the Buccaneer. It's the only interceptor that requires no skill. So, it's an S, right? So then, if you guys want to have the Pisces in it, the Pisces is an F, okay? If the Pisces goes in the list, it's an F. Pisces, paper, size one guns don't work anymore. This is the Pisces Exhibit Edition, by the way. The one that has four guns, but it's an F, okay? Hands down, moving on. And the Buccaneer is good in ammo, 100%. 100%. Okay. We're going to skip the Carrick and the Caterpillar. Um, I want to do the Constellations, guys. We'll come back to the Connies. Actually, we'll just throw the Connies on the board. Okay. Actually, the Taurus is an F. But the Connies, the Andromeda is an E. Okay. Because I know you guys want comparison of the Corsair. And I think the Corsair is an E as well. Okay. We could take those off the board if you guys want. But... In the verse, in the verse, you're going to have PvP situations where you fight Connies and Corsairs. Everyone flies a Connie and a Corsair. You're going to PvP it. So I'm going to put it up there, okay? And I even, and, and I, I think that's where they, I think the Connie Taurus is a completely an F. Because the Connie Taurus has only 20,000 HP, while these have 40,000. So I'll put them up there. Corsair ID? No, the Connie is better than the Corsair. If it's crude. This is counting if it's crude. This is counting if they're crude. By the way. This is counting if it's crude. With it being crude, I even think the Connie's a D and the Corsair's an, an E. Okay. But I don't want to upset people right now, so we're going to leave it the way it is. Okay. The Cuddy Black. I think I had this. Where did I have the Cuddy Black? I think I have it on the D tier. Is it on D tier or C tier where I put the Cuddy Black? It's on. I put it on the C tier. Okay. I think it's a D. This is not. This is in the verse. If you find this ship in the verse, what is it going to be like? This is not 1v1ing. Look at the title of the thing. This is PvP all. All. Whether it's a group fight or a single fight. This is the first tier list we're making. It's everything's involved in the verse. If this was a verse fight, okay? That's what this is about. I think the Cuddy's a D. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna The Corsair's bad, guys. The Corsair is bad. This is PvP. The Corsair is bad. Okay, the cutter is do we count the cutter? The cutter's an F. Okay, that's all you get. The banner defender is a C. It's better than the 85X. 
Veteran Defender is a too big of a target to be any good, but it's got four guns, four size three guns. So it's it's a top tier C. It's a top tier C. Okay. Um, we'll put the Connie Taurus ahead of these guys, though, right? We'll put the cut. No, the cutters worse than the Pisces. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Eclipse is a D. All right. I don't even know if it's a D. D is D is giving the Eclipse too much love, but we'll leave it at a D for now. It doesn't do anything. The Eclipse does absolutely nothing. Torps don't hit players. Eclipses are useless. But on the off chance that you're fighting somebody who's in a Carrick or a 600i or something big, maybe the Eclipse does something. But the Eclipse depends, has too many variables, so the Eclipse is the D. F7A, guys. F7A, right? Okay. The F7A is not an S tier ship. The, the F7A is not an S tier ship, but it is the best ship for a dueling. 1v1ing, it's probably the best ship. For average pilots, if you're average at the game, if you're if you are not a top tier pilot, the F7A is the best ship you can get into. Is the best ship you can fly if you're an average pilot. So that's why I almost think it's S if you're average. But I can kill Hornets in an arrow, right? I could kill Hornets in a Gladius, okay? If they're average. And I don't care if you guys disagree and say the Hornet is garbage. It's not. It has humongous firepower. And just because it sucks in Atmo, it's still got too much firepower. It's an A. And I think it's better than the rest of these ships if you're an average pilot. Okay. The regular Hornets are Bs. Okay. The the Hornet Mark One or the Hornet Mark Two, the F the F seven C sits behind the interceptors in the list. Okay. The F seven A is ahead of the interceptors. The F seven C is behind the interceptors. The regular Hornets are Bs. Plus, they're more tanky. Exactly. And the F, we haven't got to the F8C. We're, we're right around the corner to the F8C, right? The F8C, right? I think the F8C is definitely, to an average pilot, is better than everything. The F8C is the best ship you can be in if you're an average, everyday pilot. Or even above average. The only time you're going to lose in an F8C is if you're fighting a top tier PvP pilot. With how tanky the F8C is, the only time you're going to lose a fight is if you're going against a top tier PvP pilot. I even think the, the F8 Lightning's an S. I think the F8 Lightning is an S. But for the sake of the fact that I can kill, it, kill an F8C in an arrow by just staying behind it, That's another story. But the thing is, can you stay behind a good F8C pilot? Asteroids are the real S tier. I agree. We're not going to do the freelancers unless you guys want to see the freelancers with the regular freelancer next to the Cuddy. Because I, I, I don't even think it's next to the Cuddy. I think it goes here. Because it doesn't face forward. Um, nobody really flies a freelancer. But for the pe for the few select people that do like the Freelancer, it is a ship, and I think it's a great ship. It's just not meant for PvP. Okay. And then, um... Wait, do the Freelancers have size 4s now? Hold on a second. Do Freelancers have size 4s now? 
let me check real quick. Let me let me let me confirm. I haven't been in a freelancer since. No, they still have size threes. Okay. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm. You think the Titan is better than the F7? Well, you're. Well, I think you're wrong. <laughs> I think the Titan is absolute ass. I'm. T I'm, t I'm sorry. There's Atmo flight. Absolute ass. Absolute ass. The freelancer has three shields. The freelancer does have three shields. Holy shit. Okay, but the problem with the freelancer, guys, the problem with the freelancer is it um, it doesn't have a forward-facing turret. The, the freelancer doesn't have a forward-facing turret. So that's why it goes behind the cutty. Okay? And that's I'm sticking with that answer, okay? The Fury goes up here in between the arrow and the blade. The Fury is the most nimble ship in the entire game. Okay. It is the most nimble ship in the entire game and it is still a beast, but it just takes one or two shots to kill it. So it can't go any higher than where it is. It just, it's not good enough because if the F8C or the F7A ever looks at the Fury, it's over. Okay. The gladiator is F. I don't care. <laughs> Do we even put the gladiator in the tier list? No. Okay. Yeah, fragile's the answer, right? The gladius is an A tier. It's better than the arrow. It has more DPS now. The size 3 cannons are better than the size 1 cannons on the arrow. And the extra survivability in the gladius makes it better than the arrow nowadays the gladius is better the gladius is not better than the hornet and it's not better than the 125 i think it's better than the f7c as long as the f7c doesn't have murder hornet parts on it as long as the f7c is using the proper gunnery components the gladius is better than the f7c You say the Titan's below. No, the, the Titan is still good, guys. In space flight, the Avenger series is amazing. And it's an interceptor. And I think it's better than the arrow. Especially with its DPS. It's just if you ever touch the atmosphere with the Titan, it's bad. So, this is where we are so far. The Glaive. The Glaive's good. The Glaive's good. Um, I think it's top C tier. If you're a decent pilot and you're in a Glaive and you're fighting another average-ish pilot, that Glaive is going to fucking wreck. Okay? The Glaive and the Scythe. I'm counting the Glaive and the Scythe as the same ship. Okay, guys? I have the Scythe down here. Okay, the glaive and the scythe are the same ship. I'm not going to put them both up here. It's going to it's going to log uh, clog up the the tree. But the glaive and the scythe, they're actually really good if you're going against people that are not good. Okay, why did they nerf the titan so hard? I don't. They buffed the titan. The the titan's amazing now. It just sucks in ammo. You're saying an F8C in a PvP tier list is nuts, in the A in the A slot. Have you been? Have you fought an F8C? Are you a top one percenter? If you're a top one percenter, you can talk shit on the F8C. If you're not a top one percenter, you cannot talk shit on the F8C. I'm just gonna be hardcore with you guys. If you are the best of the best pilots, you can talk shit on the F8C. But if you are not the best pilot in the verse, you cannot talk shit on the FAC. The FAC is going to eat your face if you're not the best. And the Glaive is very surprisingly fun. I honestly think the Glaive should be up here. The FAC should be an S. Unless you're a, one, unless you're a top 1%er, 
The F the F8C should be an S. Okay. What's next? Hammerhead? Hammerhead's better than the Connie. I'll tell you that. Did we put the hammerhead up there? It's better than the eclipse. <laughs> Fight me in an F8C versus you in an F7A. I will destroy you every time. Every time. All right. Hawk. Hawk is garbage, guys. I'm sorry. Hawk is garbage. I don't. The it's too big. It's too big. The hawk. Its cross section is too big. It has two small of guns. It's not good. Hawk's not good. Where did I have my hawk earlier? No, we haven't done the PVE tier list yet. Okay. Do you guys want the Herald in? The Herald is, uh, the Herald's not bad because it's an interceptor. See, you see how the, how it's getting cluttered now? We're starting to get a little bit cluttered. We're not putting the Crusade, we're not putting the, the Hercules ships in. Yeah. The blue is better than the hawk. Well, the cut. What, what blue? The cutty blue? Well, we're not doing the cutty blue. We're just classifying the cutlasses as all cutlasses in the cutty black. The hawk was faster pre master modes, yes. So the hawk is bad. Um, the herald, I think, belongs up here, to be honest. No, it doesn't. But it's better than the Hawk. Hole A is not a combat ship. Inferno? Garbage. Um, Inferno is... I think I had it as a D. Let me check. I did have the Inferno as a D. And I think I had the Inferno up here. I had the Inferno up here and I had the Ion back here. I have the Inferno up there and the Ion back here. That's that's how I feel. That's for PvP. <laughs> no. The Hawk with ballistics is good. This the guns are too small. The guns are too small. The guns are too small in the um in the Hawk. The Katsu wall goes up here. Um Maybe here. We'll put it in C tier. The Kacho All is is good. If you can fly it good enough. That's got size fours. For PvP, the Inferno's just bad. The, the Inferno's great for PvE, guys. We're gonna have the Inferno way up top. Not way up top. But pretty solid for PvE. But for PvP, the Inferno's just not good, guys. M50, easy. Best ship in the game. That's a little bit biased, but best ship in the game. If you can fly the M50 like a god, you are a god. Okay. If you can fly the M50 like a god, you indeed are a god. But if you cannot fly like a god, you are not a god. Okay. This is... One of the smallest ships in the game, and one of the fastest ships in the game, and it has a quantum drive. If you're a god, you're a god. If you're not, you're not. Mantis. Mantis is an uh, interceptor. It's pretty good. Solid up there in B tier. Inferno still looks cool. <laughs> Mustang. Mustang is uh, pretty bad, guys. Mustang's pretty bad. It's definitely behind the 85X, but it's definitely behind the Aurora, so it goes down there. Okay. Mantis pops pretty easy, but it's still really fast. The Mantis is still really fast, so it belongs in the B tier as an interceptor, just in the bottom of the B tier, guys. It it belongs it belongs up there. It just uh we're not going to put the Nomad even up here. We're just not going to put the... I mean, if you want the Nomad, it goes in the F tier. Okay. Um, Merlin. This is what people didn't do, right? The Merlin belongs on the list. 
and the Merlin belongs here on the list. The Archimedes belongs up here. The Archimedes is an A-tier ship. I think the Archimedes is not better than the Hornet. Okay. The Archimedes belongs in the A tier. The Merlin belongs in the C tier. Okay. It it's very hard to hit, very hard to see, but its firepower sucks and it doesn't have the interceptor speed. But the Merlin does belong on the list. I don't know why some people have left the Merlin off their list. Do we put the Prowler up there? It's up to you guys. Yeah, the Merlin's very bad in ammo. But in space, it's a monster, and it's just as good as some of these ships here. Okay. The Razor. The Razor's still an A-tier ship. Just sucks in ammo. <laughs> no what, Jim? No what? No Prowler? All right, so the Reclaimer goes in, though, right? No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> What about the Redeemer? Since we have these other ships, we put the Redeemer in here, right? I think the Redeemer is just as good as the Hammerhead. I think the Redeemer is just as good as the Hammerhead. The Redeemer is not bad because you can put on, you can put Omni Sky Fives, you could put Omni Sky Fives on these turrets and wreck people, bro. Or Light Strike Fives, you could put Light Strike Fives on the Redeemer. Like strike fives, guys, on the Redeemer. Smacks. Okay. And and as much as hate as the hammerhead gets, in the natural organic verse, if you have a fully crude hammerhead, no one's gonna come fight you. No one's gonna fight a fully crude hammerhead in the verse. I don't care what people say. These ships are scary. To be honest, these two should be up here. And I'm putting them up there. I don't even care. These are C-tier PvP ships. I don't even care. I don't even care. This is this is crude and non-crude. Whole thing all together. So they go there. Okay. Reliant Tana. Alright. Um, sadly the Reliant Tana. Sadly, the Reliant Tana. Sadly, the Reliant Tana is a D. It's better than the Hawk. It's better than the Hawk. But it's just too big. It's just too big. Maybe a C. I agree with you, Jim. Maybe the Reliant Tana is a C. Maybe. So maybe behind the defender. But it's just too big. Definitely behind the defender. Maybe ahead of the 85X. Okay. We're not going to put the retaliator up there. If you want the retaliator up there, it goes here. Okay. There you go. Saber Firebird. Saber Firebird's an interceptor. It goes up here. It actually goes here no alarms we don't need alarms um yeah the saber firebird with its missile boat power it, it's an a with this is this is after it gets 24 missiles okay once the firebird gets 24 missiles it's better than all these ships up here it depends on your gameplay, yes, but it's a missile boat that cannot be seen. The Saber Firebird is going to be a PvP monster, okay? Just telling you guys now, the Saber Firebird is better than the Gladius, better than the FC Hornet. It will be, okay? And that brings us to the Saber Raven, which I believe is still an A tier, but it's the back of the A tier. Okay. Sentaki Eye is garbage, guys. It's garbage. It goes behind all these guys. Sentaki No. Sentaki Eye goes... Here. It's an F. It's garbage. Saber. Absolute worst ship in the game. 
It's worse than the cutter. Nope, cutter's worse ship in the game. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, the saber is the worst ship in the game. I don't care. It's got no speed. Okay, the Saber Firebird and the Saber Raven. The Saber Firebird and the Saber Raven are amazing because they're interceptors. This thing has such a big cross section. Okay, it doesn't belong in the F tier, but it's bad. Okay. It's it's bad. The Saber, the regular Sabers are bad. They're just bad, guys. Don't fly them. Okay, where are we at? And Terry's? And Terry's goes somewhere up here, right? I think it goes hand in hand with the Mantis. The Scorpius is the best ship in the game. The number one ship in the game. The Scorpius is the number one ship in the game. It's my opinion. If you have a turret gunner, number one ship in the game. Number one ship in the game. Where's my hurricane at? You know, I don't have hurricane. How did I miss that? Guys. Hold on. I apologize. How did I help? I was... I missed one ship. I got all the ships in the game, and I missed the hurricane. Give me a second. Add a ship. I missed one. That poor hurricane, dude. That poor hurricane. Or hurricane. Um, where is it? Where the heck is it? There it is. I need to open up another file explorer, source of some ships. Shit, and I'm just gonna punch my mic ten times because that's how we do things. And then rename it hurricane. The poor hurricane got forgot. Okay. Sorry, guys. The poor hurricane got forgotten. <laughs> it, it's not an S tier, guys. The hurricane is not an S tier. It's a B. Probably the best B, but it's a B. <laughs> Where's the Vulture Molon Prospector? Hello. But the Hurricane, because of the Interceptor meta, the Hurricane's not as good. The F8, or the F, the F8 and the F7A have better guns than the Hurricane. And they're smaller, tar well, the, the F7A is a smaller target. Um, I think, in my opinion, it probably does belong in the A tier. And it probably belongs right there. But my A tier is so, so much. So it's a B. Yeah. It's really a B. Okay. So where were we? Do you guys want the spirit in the C1? I mean, if that's the case, it does go right here. But we're not going to put the C1 there, but the, the A1 and the Cuddy, I would probably say maybe the A1's a little bit better. But. Um, the Sulin's an F. It's better than some of these ships, but it's an F. And then the Talon goes right next to the Firebird. The Talon goes right next to the Firebird. Missile boats are good, guys. Missile boats are good. The only thing is it's not as fast, right? You 
You think the Sulin's an E? Maybe next to the Saber, right? Right behind the Saber. I agree. And the Talon does ignore ammo. Which is why the regular Talon goes here. Oh, no, no, it goes here. Right next to the Kato. Okay. Terrapin, we're not putting the Terrapin up there. Do you guys want the Valkyrie up here? It's an E. Valkyrie is probably an F. Okay. When I'm raiding the Cutlass Black, I'm considering it with the turret gunner. I'm considering the Cutty Black with the turret gunner. <laughs> and so that leaves us with four ships left. The Vulture's not going on the list. Leaves us with four ships left, guys. You can't get the F7A. It's, uh, you have to complete, you have to have the F7C. We're not, you have to have the F7C to get the F7A. And you have to complete the overdrive event. I don't know if the overdrive event's even going on anymore. If it is, then you maybe have one or two more days to do it. Harbinger. Where does the Harbinger go, guys? I think the Harbinger is a C tier. Okay. SRV is missing. <laughs> I think the Hoplite is an E. Right? The Vanguard Sentinel is actually bad. And the Warden is... Goes with the Harbinger. Okay. The Sentinel has half the HP than the rest of the ships now. The Sentinel is actually the worst one. The Sentinel is actually... The, Har the Vanguard series is bad in PvP. Their bullet speed, their bullet velocity is too low. Only offended by the Herald. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That, that's This is the PvP altogether PvP tier list. Okay? Every ship accounted for other than the clearly non-combat ships. Do you want the 600i in here? The 600i goes... 600i goes here. If you want the 600i in there, it goes there. Okay. That's up to you if you want the 600i. <laughs> but the vanguards have been nerfed to the ground for PvP. They're still good in PvE. When we make the PvE, when we make the PvE tier list, the hot, uh, the vanguards will be higher, at least a little bit higher. But this is the PvP. Everything goes in the verse if you run into it. This is what you should be worried about. F7A Mark One, that don't count. We don't. That's that ship doesn't exist. Ship doesn't exist. After today, or after a couple of days, that ship won't exist anymore. We we don't we don't count the F7A. If if you want to count the F7A, it goes where the F7C is, I guess. Yeah. The F7A doesn't work. Here, let me put it this way. Why would you fly the F7A Mark 1 when you can fly the F7A Mark 2? End of story. We don't count ships that don't matter. Like, <laughs> why? You know? <laughs> this is it. This is the PvP tier list of all ships okay we're gonna reset this tier list and we're gonna make a dueling tier list next okay we're gonna make a dueling tier list next but this is if you were out in the verse and the, it was a group fight that's why we have the connie and the corsair on here 
and and the hammerheads and the redeemers because if you're out in the verse you're going to run into these things you're going to run into these things guys so even the 600i you should be scared if you run into a connie to be honest if you're by yourself i wouldn't fight a connie in a titan by myself okay i but if you're good enough you can So skill level matters. I want to throw. I want to put like skill levels next to each um, ship as well, but I also don't, cause that's that's a bit much. But this is my tier list. I'm gonna have to edit this a little bit so it's not 45 minutes long when I do when I make it into the YouTube video, or maybe I'm not. Maybe you guys are just gonna have to look at it and deal with our talking and discussing but you guys know what to do smash that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe let's get back to the chat in the live stream this is my tier list for pvp okay let's talk about it <laughs>